Hey guys, Chris from MMORPG.com, and today we're going to do things a little bit differently, a little bit more vlog style, looking at a microphone. Now this is the Blue Bluebird large diaphragm condenser microphone had to get all that in there and it's a very very high quality mic it retails for about three hundred dollars so it's more expensive than your average yeti but it does offer some unique benefits so if we turn it around to the side you can see we have two switches i have to come around here because the sound isolation is going to make it hard to hear if i don't but we have a negative 20 decibel pad so if you're recording something loud it'll pick that up and we also have a high pass filter now, a high-pass filter is going to be important if you have things like fans running in your PC, which most of us do. Now, that's actually going to work to cut out some of that sound. It's not going to be perfect. A high-pass filter isn't really tuned to cut out fan sound, but it will get some of that out of the way. So if I switch that on, it really doesn't make any kind of click that is too audible, maybe a little bit, but not too bad. And it doesn't really change the character of your voice very much either. Uh, it does make the microphone a little bit more sensitive to plosives, uh, which this microphone microphone is a bit sensitive to in general. And I guess what I should what I should clarify there is it's not that it makes it more sensitive, it just changes how those sound on the track. Uh, so if you are going to be using that high pass filter, definitely get yourself a pop filter on here to make sure that you're not going to be getting any unwanted noise. Uh, now overall the build on this thing is just fantastic. When you take it out of the box it comes in an actual wooden display box which is really unique and cool. You can use it for travel or if you're not using this microphone, I don't know why you wouldn't use it if you bought it, but if you're not using it you can have it on display. The cylinder here is all metal, uh, has a good weight to it, feels nice in the hand, and it also comes with its own shock mount. So since this is a little bit more of a narrow cylinder here, they include that shock mount to make sure you're going to be able to get that mounted no problem. But again, you are going to want to get that pop filter because even though we have this really unique grating that's on here, uh, it does have some sensitivity to those plosives. So now that you've seen this, we're going to switch over to the Blue Yeti so you can hear how that sounds. Okay, and now you're hearing the Blue Yeti. Now this microphone is substantially cheaper, it's about $129, and it's a very, very good microphone. It's one of the most popular ones that's out there. So listen to it now and see what you think is the best. Now one of the big benefits to having something like the Bluebird, which is over there on the couch, is that it's much smaller, which means it's going to be much more manageable for lots of different arms, things like that. Whether or not that matters to you is really up to you. It's a very subjective thing, I think, based on your own needs. But I will say this, the Bluebird is going to be a better fit if you're doing any other kind of recording also. So if, for example, you are a musician and you want to record your acoustic guitar, it's going to be a better fit to use that than the Blue Yeti because of the way it responds. This one is more weighted toward the low end, so if you're speaking into it like this, it's going to get a nice proximity effect, it's going to sound very good. This one also has multiple modes on it using these switches on the back, as I'm sure you're familiar with. So with all of that said, which one is best is up to you, and I'm glad we had the chance to compare these. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to read the full review on MMORPG.com.